Hi guys, I wanted to show you guys a quick way on how to um, do a scene where something falls apart. So I'm going to model a quick column. Actually, let's name this here. And then here I'm going to just the height. So we have a column, move it up. Uh, I'll give it end caps. Let me move it up a little bit more and make it a little bit taller. There's something like that. Um, and then I'm just going to add kind of a head and a bottom to it. So I'm going to uh, select the faces. We can go into our select tool here. Select the bottom and the top and do a extrude. You can do extrudes inside of the polygon tab. And I do have a polygon object here, so I am going to do a poly extrude. That gives me this node here. And then I can just extrude. So I'm going to pull it out like that and then do another poly extrude. And then I'm going to just the top there. So very quick, very easy um, setup for a column. And then I am going to add a oops, transform node. And in this transform node, I'm just going to oops, make a adjustment to make sure that it's not off the ground here, or that it's on top of the ground. So just bringing it right on top of there. Oops, there we go. So I like that. And then now we can start breaking this thing apart. Let's go in and create a um, Voronoi fracture points. And this is just going to give us um, points to work with. So I'm going to connect this here. And if we look at this, it's giving us points there. Um, I'm going to adjust the impact radius so that way we have more points in there. And that's going to give us the points we need to start breaking it apart. And then I'm going to add a Voronoi fracture. And here we need to plug in the geometry and then the points. And when we look at that, we can see that it is broken up into pieces. Um, if we want to see that a little bit better, because we only see the wireframe here, just to kind of preview it, we can do an exploded view. And preview that, and you can see all the pieces that it has created. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that because that was just kind of a preview. And then now I want to take this scene here and make it uh, dynamic. So to make it dynamic and fall apart, what we have to do is go to rigid bodies. And in this case, what we're going to do is do an RBD 
a fractured object because we want all the different pieces to interact individually in here. So I'm going to click on this. Um, this is asking if you want it to be a packed object or an RBD fractured project object and the difference is that the packed object will work a little bit faster uh, but it won't interact with other types of dynamics like water and things like that where the fractured object will but it's slower so in this case I'm not going to make it interact with anything else so I'm just going to be an RBD packed object then it asks me to select objects uh, for RBD fracture objects select that and then push enter it's accepted it once I've done that it's also created an auto dot node if I go back to the beginning I'm gonna put this to play back at real time and push play you'll see that it's working it's just kind of falling down together into infinity because we haven't set a ground plane or anything for it to collide with so we can add a ground plane here There we go. So now if I push play here, we can see the column collapse on itself and fall apart. So that's basically it to make it um, collapse. In a future lesson, I'll kind of show you guys how to make this a little bit more controllable but um, yeah that's how you start off to making a object break and fall apart and collapse in on itself. I hope you guys enjoyed this and we'll see you guys in the next lesson.